Here's what I want, Jack. A simple exchange, something you have access to for something I have access to. Speak English. You give me Carly, I give you what? Barbara. <laughs> no deal, Stenbeck. It's a fair deal, Jack. Forget it. No, no, no. Jack, hear me out. You deliver me one slightly damaged Barbara, and I'll deliver you two beautiful young women. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll throw in Emily for free, which is more than she's worth. There's not going to be an exchange. What exchange? No, you're out of your mind. What does he want, Jack? Marco, shut him up. Jack, what does he want? Is that Montgomery? Conference him in. Come on, let's go. Okay? Forget it, I am not leaving. I assume it was a smooth landing. No, thanks to you. Come on, I'm not asking. If he's working a deal, I want to hear what it is. I had no idea Montgomery could fly. He's a real renaissance man. Not leaving until I hear what he wants. Yes, Argo, please. Uh, sounds like you all are having a soiree down there at the police station. Two people could have died in that plane. You left them unconscious, totally helpless. Cut the drama, Jack. Jack, what does he say? Come on, that's enough, Craig. Put Montgomery on. No. Look, he's a savvy businessman. He knows value when he sees it. We're talking about human lives. Jack! You're willing to sign Carly's death warrant so easily? If you kill Carly, I'll track you down myself, Wait. you miserable Wait. son of a pig! I have obviously called the wrong suitor. Montgomery will throw Barbara to the wolves for his lady love. He has no idea that your offer even involves Barbara. We don't deal in human lives here. He will! She's all yours! Yeah, Craig! Listen, Barbara put in with James a long time ago. That's the reason we're here! You are not helping Carly. You're making things worse. All right, why don't you get on the phone and tell him what to do? Stemmick, you still there? Five. What? I wish we could work out these details in person. Four. We'll work them out now. Call you in the morning. Three. No. no. Okay, okay. Let's assume I talk to Barbara. In the morning, detective. Two. And she goes for it. One. We just ran out of time to trace this call. Bye-bye. Stand back, wait. Stand, stand back! Damn it. We lost him. Well, Jack, he would have stayed on if you'd have taken the trade. It was win-win, but you blew it. No, you blew it, Montgomery. You broke the rhythm. You got Stenbeck's head back on the trace and off the deal. He wouldn't have hung up on me, no, Jack. I, I had him. I was this close until he heard you go off. He's in control. Give him what he wants. Give him Barb. No, this isn't up for a vote. Don't you get that? Personally, I think he's too good for him. Jack, when is he going to call back? In the morning to arrange the switch. Well, do it. I don't take orders from you. He's willing to release both Carly Just and Emily. Just because that's what he said doesn't mean that's what he'll do. And we have options? Yes, we do. Margo, arrest him. For what? For making sense? For obstructing justice. Jack, he has nothing to lose, and Barbara's the only one with any leverage here. Jack, what's going on? Papa Frankenstein called. He wants his bride back. What's he talking about? James wants to set up an exchange. Barbara for Carly and Emily. Mom told me James was in the hospital. Yeah, and he had his own private ambulance service, right, Craig? Jack, you're gonna hurt yourself jumping up on that whoa, high whoa, horse. Well, you helped him? Yes. <laughs> he had some girl fake a seizure. It was to set up a distraction so that he and James could get out of the hospital unnoticed. Why? Daddy said if he didn't meet Dr. Towns at a certain time, he would kill Carly and Emily. We had Lucinda's jet all juiced up and ready to go when your squeeze crashed the party. Whoa, whoa, Rose? Yeah, she insisted on coming. She was the only one that oh, ID town. Hey, hey, shut up! Is Rose all right? Yeah, once the ether wore off. Stenbeck drugged them, parachuted to bail out, and then left them to die. Yeah, luckily I woke up in time Margo, to land the plane. Are you sure Rose is okay? Yes, I've seen her. She's fine, Paul. Okay, has there been a search for James? Did you trace his call? Yeah, we, we tried, but he didn't stay on the line long enough. He'll call back tomorrow morning. Yeah, to make the switch. Now, why don't you talk to your mother? She got us into this mess. If she really wants to redeem herself, maybe she can get us Look, out. Look, I, I don't care what James promised you. He's not going to hand over Emily and Carly. And what if this is Rose? Would you talk to your mother? Shut up, Craig. Wake up and smell the bake, Paul. Give your mother a chance to really be good for something. You let that psychopath go, and now you want my mother to clean up your mess. This mess was started by your mother and your psychopath father. 
What if Emily and Carly are already dead? Carly is alive. We heard from her. When? Wait, are you, are you sure it was her? I mean, the man faked a coma. I'm sure it's not hard to fake a voice. It was Carly, and we have to do what we can to get her back. It won't work, Craig. James will take my mother, and Jack will never see Carly again. Gee, I'll risk it. Gee, it's a shame it's not your call. And whose call is it, Jack? Who's going to put it on the line? You? Paul? You guys, listen, there are ways that hostage situations are handled. This will never get clearance. Clearance? What, what, that is it? Paperwork? Permission? What kind of permission did Barbara have to make those women disappear? And these women should die so you don't get your hands slapped? Listen to yourself. You know what's going on here. You know what's right, so let's do it! He's right, Jack. We have to get my mother to make the switch. I hate agreeing with Craig on anything, but he's, he's right about this. Where is he anyway? Mother? He's using my phone to call Lucy. But it's not our decision, it's my mother's. Yeah, and if she says yes, are you gonna be okay with that? Yeah. And Craig nailed it. If it were Rose, I wouldn't think twice about it, but I don't want my mother hurt, Jack. No, of course not. Of course you don't. I don't either. That's why we have to set up a sting. We can get Barbara out as soon as we know the other two are safe. You know, we better start mapping some sort of strategy out. We're losing time. Right, if we use Barbara, I'll talk to her. But first, we gotta come up with something that makes Stenbeck believe that he is gonna get what he wants. And I say we give him exactly what he's looking for. No stalls, and we do it by the book. Let's see how serious he is. How? First, we get Craig out of here. I don't want him anywhere near this place while we're working out the details. What you got in mind, Jack? Craig, time to pack up your decoder ring. He's gone. Oh, that's just great. Last thing we need is Craig going vigilante again. I know, baby. I miss you, too. But I just, I don't know what time I'm going to get home tonight. So keep my side of the bed warm. Nighty night, Tom. Oh, Tom, Grady says nighty night. <laughs> yeah, OK, I'll tell him. Bye. What do you got? Labs are back on Dolly Ventura's car. Oh. Great. It's just great. Great. Well, I can't give you any guarantees, Paul. I'm not asking for any. Just a mix stack of deck. Except for that phone call, we have no real proof that Emily and Carly are still alive. Even giving a barber might not be what he really wants. All right, what can I do? Leave what you heard tonight here. No glory, please. It's all I can do to keep Craig from getting himself killed and make sure that Rose doesn't pull any more stunts. She won't. Good. I I'll let you know how it goes. All right. Night, Jack. Thanks. For what? For not making me guilty by reason of heredity. Hey, family, man. You can't pick them. Yeah, you got that right. What you got? It's a lab report on Dolly Ventura's car. Blood traces found. Just when you think things couldn't get any worse. Mm. They do. So is Paul going to go along with whatever you got planned for Stenbeck? Yeah. The, how does a decent guy end up with a father like that? I don't know. I guess somebody jumped in the gene pool when the lifeguard wasn't looking. That's a good one to use. Why should Craig get all the good lines? Uh, speaking of Craig, what do you think the odds are that your brother went back to his penthouse like a good little egomaniac? Slim to none. My money's on none. <laughs>